NestJS add-ons in memory DB can be added to a Nest project with one simple uh, set of commands. So today we will explore uh, creating a new Nest project and adding the in memory DB and then I'll walk through how to use it in our controller. So the first thing we want to do is we'll generate a new nest project using the nest schematic CLI. So nest new user API. And while that's going we'll hop over to the GitHub page and we'll copy the npm install command. And as soon as the install finishes, we will install this add-on module. So we will cd into our user API directory and run npm install nest JS add-ons in memory DB. And we'll go into Visual Studio Code. And we are going to first remove the existing app service that's in place just like that all right we're going to delete it and we're going to now import our in-memory module okay Perfect, and our imports, import db module. All right, and now we can hop over to our controller and we're gonna get rid of the app service and that is going to be replaced with a user service, which is an in-memory db service. And that is a generic that takes a defined interface for the entity the service will go around. And so let's go ahead and define a user entity that extends the in-memory DB entity. And we will have a first name and last name field. The in-memory entity provides an ID by default. So now we can make use of this here. All right, and so now let's create a get users get all users that will return a user entity array. All right, so then it's going to return this dot user service dot get all. Fantastic. Uh, for prototyping purposes, we'll go ahead and we'll create a couple sample records. So this create method takes in a partial of the entity. So the great thing about that is if we don't know the ID, which most of the time we don't, um, it will generate a unique one for us. So we're going to create two records here. Some person. All right. Fantastic. So now let's go ahead and run by doing npm run start dev. That we get our hot reloading. If we hop over to Chrome, I can then go to my users, and there they are. And the IDs have been generated as well. So now, if we hop back over to VS Code, let's go ahead and implement one that gets the user by ID. So we'll say get user. It will take in a param from nest that's named ID. And we're no longer going to return a list of them, just one. So we'll say get, and then we'll convert that to a number. And then there we go. So if we want number one, we can say users slash user slash one. And there's our individual user. All right, still running. So now what we're going to do is create one more example here and we'll use the last name and we'll turn this into last name 
and this will be get user by last name. So we can't use the get method anymore. So we can now do this.userService.query and provide a predicate where we can say record dot last name is last name. All right. So IntelliSense is griping at us because we're actually potentially returning a list. So let's do that. And if we come over here now and we say last name Grimes, we just get back the one. Now if we say person, we get the other. Fantastic. And again, these uh, methods are all there. Um, you could have a delete command like this for a specific user. And we could say delete user param. All right. So this would be ID. Just like that. And then we would just say return this dot delete. Sorry, this dot user service dot delete ID. All right. So now if we were to hop over to Postman, we could then to users slash user one delete send that across we get a 200 okay if we come back over here and refresh the user's gone pretty cool huh so all gone so now that we've deleted our user uh, let's come back over here and um, just review one more time we have some other methods so we have um, an update and, and a create. An update would take in the full object of the user entity. And create, we are making use of up here in the constructor. So hopefully this library uh, is uh, helpful to you as you're prototyping, creating mock backends um, for your uh, Nest REST applications. Um, and uh, happy coding.